this is Pauline Jennings. Welcome to Musician Talk. This is the second part of a two-part conversation with Gao Hong. Both episodes will be available at the Entertainment Guide website. Please go and check out the first part of the interview from last week where Gao talks about her musical journey that began in China, continued right here in Northfield when she started teaching at Carleton in 2001, and continues to shine all over the world. Side note, shout out to the Entertainment Guide. It keeps Southern Minnesotans up to date on what is going on, so thanks to them. Now, in case you haven't listened to the first part yet, here is a short bio to introduce you to her. She is a Chinese performer and composer who is a master of the pear-shaped lute called the pipa. She began her career as a professional musician at age 12 and later graduated from the Central Conservatory of Music in Beijing. In both China and the U.S., Gao has received numerous top awards and honors. In 2005, Gao Hong became the first traditional musician to be awarded the prestigious Bush Artist Fellowship and recently received World Music Gold Medals for her work on her latest albums. As a 2018 Sally Award winner, Gao Hong was honored at the Ordway Center for her commitment to the arts. This interview starts right in where we left off last week. I do want to ask you a little bit about some of the major differences and similarities in the music culture of China and the United States. Yeah, it's very, very different. The The problem is in China, uh, almost the musician, top musicians, like somebody from graduate from Central Conservatory, you get into the um, company like a dance scene troupe or or the national orchestra, the the country is paying your lifetime. So um, if I would want to stay China, I have a comfortable life. No dollar for that. <laughs> <Because> <laughs> until I am retired, it will be good. But they will have a limitation of what you want to do. Ah. It's very, very difficult. And like if you have a concert, they will say, okay, we have to do something just for this event. So you limited your creative way. So America different because America is so diverse. Diversity, I mean, so diverse. And then you can, I can play with Indian musician. I can play bluegrass. I can play whoever is there. So it uses the music as a, kind of like a glue people together. Yes. So that's the thing I love so much. And that's why I love to impo- improvise is because I learn from other cultural music. I learned the masters, so I learn a lot. So that's a big difference. And also in China, uh, musician is kind of like a, kind of like an American, uh, almost like a teacher level. Everybody very, very respectful. But here you are almost like a like a lot of a freelance yes. um, musician. You don't have the big back to support you. So it's the right. really, really rely on the audience, on the people who follow you with the fans. So that's good thing. And the disadvantage is you do a lot of people don't have that much of support. I almost became a guitarist because mm. I was more like, oh, it's so old. I don't want this it. five right, songs. You want to be modern? <laughs> yeah, I want to play rock and roll. <laughs> right. right. I-, I would love to have a hybrid of the two systems where you have you're supported and backed by the government and also have the freedom to play what you want. I don't know if that would ever work, but boy, did we find out during the pandemic that that the government does not have musicians backs because I mean, you know, PPP, you can't get, you can't get um, unemployment because you don't have W2 income because it's all, mm-hmm. it's all 1099 and sure. they base and they base your unemployment on W2 incomes. I mean, they are not supported in this country. Ah, so difficult. It's, it it's is difficult. difficult. It yeah. is difficult. Yeah. Okay, back to this. So, Gal, we have to move on to the next song. There's so three much, six. as I said, there's so much <laughs> to talk about here. Called Three Six, and you had told me that that's a traditional song. Why don't you uh, tell us a little bit more about it? Yeah, the Three Six is called San Liu, which means three, six. That's easy. What's the six in China? The number is good luck, Ah, which means good luck. So three, six, I mean, which means good luck, good luck, good luck, which means good, <laughs> better, best, nice. right? 
But uh, that's what I'm trying to explain. But really, is it's a silk and the bamboo music style from Shanghai. It's just like a folk, a folk song. But my teacher arranged this piece based on the folk silk and the bamboo music style into a pipa duet. Oh. That's 1996. We recorded um, in Minneapolis, and my teacher. I'm very lucky. I was the only student ever toured. Uh, he ne- he have never ever toured with his student besides、mm-hmm. his son. So I was the only student who toured with him in America. Also recorded a、uh, album. That's the reason I like to introduce this because he is the most amazing pipa player he was. And、uh, like I said, it's Ravi Shankar on the pipa, and、uh, we、uh, got the gold medal for 2021 for the Global Music Award. Also、uh, in the Sound Lines. A music magazine, the most、uh, famous magazine in UK. It, they call the Rock and Roll for World Music. We were <laughs> Rock and Roll for World Music. I love yeah, it. Yeah, we were we were、um, we were the top fifteen of best、uh, album of the the world. We we're the、wow. one of the fifteen. Um, and we got five star reviews and、uh, have all so all over the world like.、Uh, The trying trying global、uh, chart. We were in two months on the top chart. Wow! Congratulations.、Yeah. That's impressive.、Yeah. So this is the 1996 recording with your teacher. Yeah, but、okay. during the con- pandemic, that's the cool thing is about during the con- pandemic. We released in 1996 because before our concert he was left. We released 1996 went so well. The、uh, the European people called the、uh, one of the best people album in 20th century. So.、Wow. I was、uh, during the pandemic. I was cleaning the basement. Suddenly, I saw there was a moonlight over the Spring River. Was one of the most famous pieces、uh, by the pipa and the zhongran, the moon guitar、uh, instrument. But we didn't include in the first recording at、uh, the release. When I saw that, because my teacher passed away in two thousand five, I said, "Oh no, that was like twenty years ago. I have to get this twenty four years ago." So that was the dead tape. So no one has dead machine anymore. So I went to the call list. You know, Carlton have a call list. I said, "Anybody can help." Thank God, Andy Flory is the professor at Carlton, the music department, and he said, "Oh." I can help you. I was say thank you, thank you. I was so happy. I dropped off to the dad machine was twenty four years ago. I gave to him. Then he said, "Hong,、oh, I'm so 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 sorry. I can't make the sound work."、Oh. I started crying. I said, "No, no, why?" He said, "Just couldn't work." So I went to the music department. Department asked Susan、um, to give me a、uh, the old. That machine. I came back, found exactly where it is, and I couldn't hear it. I just couldn't read one. So I asked Professor Flory. I said, "Would you please try again?" So he got it. Ah.、Uh. He got it. I was so excited. I contacted the ARC, a music label in UK. I said, "This CD is so meaningful." Because he passed away, that's the only version in the world ever, ever、wow. no one ever had it. Twenty-four years ago, two hour later, the label owner said yes. So they put everything、oh. together. They published it in September.、Wow. That's an amazing story. That is an amazing <laughs> story. So this is this was a small DAT tape, D A T, right? Yes. That you used to record on, not even that long ago. I mean,、uh, I recorded. My album at Math, Matt, Matthew Zimmerman Studio, Wild Sound. Yes,、yeah, sure. and I have dance from his studio. He probably could help you if you're ever looking again. He might. No, that was from his studio. <laughs> yeah, that was because I recorded <laughs> there in 1996. Yes, there you go. Right, and I did. We did ours in 2000, and it was still the DATs. So,、wow. I'm so glad that you were able to find somebody to to make that work. Oh my God! After that, no, that's the reason everybody、um, just love the CD because、yes. that he is the most amazing, amazing. But at age age seventy, 
four, he still play like that. That's wow. unbelievable. Oh, what a gem, a, just an absolute gem for you to have found that and to be able to make it into an album. That is yeah. wonderful. And this is time then. Let's take a listen to three, six. listening to Musician Talk, hosted by me, Pauline Jennings, with today's guest, Gao Hong. You just heard her play the beautiful Pipa with her mentor and teacher that we heard about before the song on the composition called Three Six. Now, the first one, the first song I felt was, you know, just so beautiful and relaxing. And this one, it's exciting. And the dexterity, you really can hear how good you are, both of you, because the dexterity is just how can you do it? How can you move your fingers that fast? It's, it's very, I just, I just kept thinking in my head, wow. And then three seconds later, wow, wow. 
Wow. <laughs> so how exciting. And it's really a, a treat to get to share this with the Northfield audience. Um, and it, there's a little bit more dissonance in this one too. So again, it pre- perked up my ears to go, okay, this is not what I usually listen to. And, and yeah, uh, very, yeah it's very yes. traditional. The reason I pick it up because it's uh, around the Chinese New Year. Yes. It's a good, good and the better and, and best. The good luck, good luck, good luck, good luck, good luck. <laughs> good luck, good luck. Good All luck. the Happy best. So we don't have time today for the best gig, worst gig, because we had so many great stories from you. But seeing as you just brought up the um, the Chinese New Year and that this is the year of the ox, I would just want to sh- have you share that with the audience, what that means. And that we can put our hope in the year of the ox, perhaps. <laughs> yeah. Last year is the year for rat. <laughs> <laughs> And it's a traditional, somehow, always the year of the rat has some tragedy. Really? Like a, wow. Yeah, it's many, many in the history. So even somebody else will say that, oh, 2020 would be a difficult year because the year of a rat. Right. But this year is the year of the uh, uh, ox. Ox is kind of, a, we kind of the sampling of the animals send ox people you know ox always working hard you know they always uh, uh, very strong they're loyal they're strong they work hard and they oh, gotta geez. receive a good harvest you know with the ox helping you with the uh field work so and also in chinese called new zhuan qian kun which means new is ox means but also means turn around. Turn it around. <laughs> so everybody, uh, we, today is the third day of the Chinese New Year because we celebrate 15 days. So on the 12th is the Chinese first day and the uh, 12, 13, 14. So one, two, three, that's the third day. We celebrate 15 days. So during this couple of days, you almost see everybody say Niu Zhuan Qian Kun, which means everybody say, let's turn around or turn around. 2021 will be an amazing year, hopefully. Good. We'll cross our fingers and wish everybody the, all the best for the year of the ox. Hopefully it will end the pandemic very, very <laughs> soon. We can see people in person. I miss the audience more than anything. Yes. I miss my students more than anything because every time you see the uh, Zoom, I got it. Uh, a yeah. Zoom. <laughs> exactly. It's enough is enough. I know. <laughs> and that's a great way to end. I love that. We're going to turn it around and we're going to have a great year in 2021. But before I leave you, I just want to ask you, where can people find you online? Your music? Yeah, and- it's very easy. Just a Chinese Pipa, P-I-P-A. I, I have the best website. It's just a Chinese com, Or you can just Google me, Gao Hong Pipa. Then you'll see me everywhere. Probably. And that's G-A-O. <laughs> H O N G P I P A. Gao yeah. Hong Pipa. Well, yeah. perfect. I am going to follow you and keep track of what you're doing because I can't wait to see you perform live. So thank, thank you, Gao, you. so much for joining me today for this wonderful conversation and introducing us to the Pipa and your accomplished and beautiful playing. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Pauline, for your uh, invitation. It's my Pleasure to be here, share my story, but sorry for my Chinglish, but uh, (laughs) I hope everybody understand my... Awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. (laughs) Bye-bye. Have a wonderful day. You too. Gao talked about bringing the pipa into Western music, and I wanted to share with you a recording she did on PBS a few years ago. This is with the group Speaking in Tongues, featuring Mark Anderson on percussion, uh, Enrique Toussaint from Mexico on bass, Soa Mensa from Ghana, he's also a percussionist, and Gao Hong from China on the pipa. This is called Floating Over the Clouds, and this will take us out. So before we leave, I want to say to you, thank you so much for listening to Musician Talk on The One, KYMN. And thank you so much to Gal for sharing her stories with us. It is a privilege to chat with her about music. And remember to tune in next week for my interview with Barb Piper. And you have a terrific day. And now, here is Floating Over the Clouds with Speaking in Tongues, which includes my guest today, Gao Hong, on the pipa. <laughs>